Hey everyone, this is about INTP 16 different archetypes. Enjoy! So I was looking at your work the other day and to be honest there were quite a lot of mistakes there. Uh, I don't want to come down on you or anything, I'm just trying to help you but honestly you really need to avoid this problem. You can't keep making that mistake. By the way, did you know that avocados are not vegetables? They're fruit. Wrong! That's obviously factually incorrect. You can't make that argument. That's not a logical way to think about things. It's much better if you say this. This is much more accurate. This is a more logical portrayal of truth. I can do that a lot better. I could, if you would have let me do it, I could have done this a lot better. I could have made this two times more efficiently than you did it. So first I was thinking that maybe we could go and do this, but then I thought maybe that's better. I actually like, now that I think about it, I think I disagree with my first thought. I think it would have been better if we did it this way. Actually, now that you told me to do it, I don't want to do it anymore. I want to do the exact opposite. I hate doing what I was told. I have a theory. I have a theory that actually the universe is just a simulation, okay? So it's just a simulation. So everything you see is fake. It's put there. It's fake news. It's bullshit. So, the way I've been thinking about this, I've devised a big theory to prove that the universe is just a simulation. So, just listen to me for one hour and I will explain to you in one coherent monologue why the universe is just a simulation. By the way, the true Earth is flat. <gasps> did I miss something? Did somebody say something? What did they say? Did they say this or that? Uh... They look like they're happy, they look like they've decided on something. Did they maybe decide this? Did they maybe decide that? Uh, uh, where are they going? Uh, where are we going now all of a sudden? I know I said yes and I know I nodded, but I was definitely not listening. So I gotta figure this out or I will embarrass myself. What do you mean I look angry? No, this is just my listening face. Oh no, I think I said something uh, very embarrassing just now. Uh, what can I do to make up for this? Uh, so, actually I didn't mean that, I meant this. I mean, I didn't mean that either, I meant that. Uh, uh, I should probably go somewhere else now. Uh, so, I, I know I messed the deadline, but it was just, uh, when I was writing the thesis, Suddenly this really interesting article came up about uh, monkeys and I just had to check it out. And you can't believe what I found. This is groundbreaking. I want to rewrite my thesis. I want to start over with a completely new field. What do you mean it's too late to submit or change my thesis? Okay, so I'm gonna become more organized. So I wrote down a list, a schedule for every day so that I always wake up at the same time and I go to the same place and I follow the same process. The thing is, uh, I forgot where I put the list. Okay, so you know my theory about how the world is just a simulation? I believe if we put these theories to the test, 10, 20 years into the future, we'll be able to draw some really groundbreaking conclusions from this. Making some real world discoveries that are gonna transform and change the world. Breaking us out of the illusion. Okay, so yeah, I know I'm just a nerd right now, but in the future, I'm gonna be your boss and you're gonna take out my clothes for dry cleaning. Once I've figured out the solution to every problem and innovated and perfected my ideas, I'm gonna build a big business using my ideas to make a lot of money and nobody's gonna be able to stop. 
My ideas might seem small right now, but they're gonna become groundbreaking in the future. This single idea about, you know, perfecting remote controls, one day we're gonna use that technology to truly change the fundamental laws of the universe. So yesterday I was bored, so I decided to pick up this book about history. And did you know that uh, Gustav Adolf II, the king of Sweden, 16... 32 he died 1632 on november the 6th in lutzen saxony that's actually now in germany and uh, you know his reign it built the foundations of the modern swedish state making it a major european power and the thing is you know the really interesting thing is the year 632 and this is fascinating. 632, that's also the year where the Prophet Muhammad died. So yesterday I didn't really have a lot to do. So I was uh, browsing and learning everything I could about Captain America from Marvel. And, you know, his background, history, like upbringing, his parents and uh, everything that led up to making him the character he is. And I built and I've written a full character analysis about him. And he's an absolutely fascinating character. This is why. Okay, so let me tell you something nobody knows about me. For the last 15 years, I've been going to martial arts classes. More just for fun, just for relief, you know, just to practice and move my body and yeah, just get some tension out. It's been great. So, for the next Comic Con, I wanna go dressed up as Data. Wouldn't that be cool? You know, I'm, I'm gonna get the suit, I'm gonna get the outfit, I'm gonna get everything. And I'm gonna spend hours to make sure, you know, everything is perfect. Every single detail, you know, from my face, my expressions. And I'm also gonna memorize a bunch of quotes. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna become more organized. So I wrote down a list, a schedule for every day so that I always wake up at the same time and I go to the same place and I follow the same process. The thing is, uh, I forgot where I put the list. 